Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Windows channel. Sorry for the sound quality and the uh, video quality, not the best. But uh, here we are, this is uh, the second step when you will upgrade today to Anniversary Update. And for those that haven't upgraded yet, once it starts, uh, you, if you remember when you upgraded to Windows 10 for the first time, you had a big circle with a percentage. In this Anniversary Update, they've changed the upgrade screen. It's now a blue screen with a percentage which says don't turn off your PC, this will take a while, PC will restart several times and so on. This is what it looks like when you upgrade to Windows 10 Anniversary Update. So if you're on a blue screen like this, you're on your way. And uh, this takes from, uh, depending on the machine you have and all the files you will have, from about 30 minutes, 25-30 minutes, all the way up to uh, an hour, two hours. Some people might see two hours, two hours and a half, three hours. It all depends on how old your computer is and it also depends on how many files you have on your computer. One thing I gotta stress out here, if you upgrade, you know, people ask me all the time, should I back up my files? Uh, you know what? You always need to back up your files, upgrade or not. You're gonna lose everything one day if you don't have a double of everything that is important to you. And this is a big update. Who knows what can go wrong? You know, for now, the reports, we don't have any yet, but we're gonna, of course, I'm gonna have, you know, we're gonna see reports of people saying it didn't go, or it stopped, or it stopped at 99%, or uh, my PC doesn't work since I tried to upgrade. These are the things that will happen. And that, unfortunately, is part of a, such a big update. So uh, that's the second step for the upgrade path. Uh, what it does, of course, is when you will, of course, start the upgrade, it's going to download all the necessary files. It's going to check for the updates. It's going to change to the screen. And of course, I'm going to show you what will follow once you've gone through this and you are ready for an install um, of, you know, or to see how it installs and how it will end basically. So I'll post another video showing you uh, about uh, this. For those that are looking for the image files, ISOs, they are available through the media creation tool if you know what that means. If you don't, don't worry. In uh, an hour or two I'll be posting the video showing you how to get the image files for your system but also for other systems. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed today uh, anniversary update rolling out. Uh, it's really cool to see on the channel people from everywhere, Finland, uh, India, uh, Canada, United States, the UK, Romania, uh, people everywhere telling me that they've uh, seen the update and their Windows updates. It seems to be rolling out very, very, very fast. Uh, so uh, basically most people seem to have it. Of course, we are a few that don't. Uh, for example, I didn't, but I didn't wait, so this is using the media creation tool that I'm upgrading my machine directly instead of uh, waiting for a Windows update to appear. So uh, thanks for your support, guys. It's really cool to see all the interaction on the channel. It's cool to see everybody. And uh, that's what you know I like, and that's what makes me continue making these videos. So uh, hope you guys are having a great update to the Windows uh, anniversary for uh, Windows 10, which is uh, called Feature, uh, Windows 10 Feature Update uh, 1607.